Welcome back to another episode of Big John's Cooking. Today we're doing some hog jowls. We're going to cure it for about seven days. Then we're going to smoke it. Stick around. Alright, got my jowls here. We got a couple different things going on, but we're going to work this video out. Um, take these lip notes out of here. I don't think these are going to taste very well. So, trim that up. And we cut that off. That's fine and dandy. We'll leave that. <coughs> Toss that out. And then we're going to get this seasoned up right good here. For our cure, we got some, uh, some pink salt. We're going to go with a couple of teaspoons here. We'll rinse this off whenever we get through curing. Be careful with this. This can be considered poisonous. Definitely not for used on seasoning, you know, just straight up seasoning food. Uh, it's definitely just for curing. And then we got some some Morton salt, some flake salt. Alright, if that's making up too much noise. And we're gonna go pretty pretty liberal with that and I may add some more when I put it in the bag it's a distant side for right now and this is typically just straight up a dry rub that we're going to be putting on this uh, and we're going to vacuum seal it and we're also going to add a little sugar To this and we're gonna let this go for about three four five days and then you rinse it off and we're gonna stick it on the smoker put a little smoke to it a light smoke a cold smoke we're not going with a lot of heat we're gonna do it uh, roughly about 185 I believe for a few hours but uh, when we get to that process I'll let you know for sure. All right, so I got what I want on here, season-wise. Just gonna slip it in the bag. And honestly, I think we got plenty of salt on them, so I'm gonna leave them just like that. Get this other bag, get this other one piece in. Hopefully. We got all the seasoning that we need on here. Uh, and you can go with a little pickling sauce, salt pickling seasoning. Sorry, I'm having problems talking today. Um, you know what? You know, put what you want on there. Looking for the flavors that you want. I'm not trying to tell you how to do yours, just how to do mine. So that said. Go get my vacuum sealer, get these sealed up, and I'll bring you back in five days. And just so you know, I dropped a couple of bay leaves in there as well. All right, got my jowls out. It's been seven days. We're gonna rinse these off, and then we're gonna get them to the smoker. So let me get this done, bring you out, Bring you back when I get these uh, rinsed off, and we're gonna go out and get the smoker going. Quite we do that. Be right back. All right, I got them rinsed off. I'm gonna let them soak in this water while I get the the uh, smoker set up and ready to go. And uh, I may bring you out. May not. Uh, 
I get it out on the smoker. I, I pull the camera out and just give it a shot while it's sitting on the smoker. I'm gonna let it go probably a couple of hours out there on the smoker. It's nothing that I'm gonna use or eat right off the bat. Uh, it's more like the, the process I'm gonna use to uh, get it started. Uh, holidays are coming up. I plan on doing me some greens, so I'll uh, break a piece out then. And uh, I'll leave comments on something, let you know how it turned out. Uh, matter of fact, I, I got to do some uh, some mustard greens. So uh, when I do do that video, I'll use this meat. So till then, we'll uh, we're just gonna do the smoking process. I'll let you see that when I get it out there on the grill. Bring you back in a second. All right, drain the water off, head into the smoker. All right, we haven't really got completely up to temperature yet, but it's on here. It's smoking a little bit. I'll keep you in touch with everything as we go along. Mm -hmm. Looking better. I'm gonna give them another hour or so. I'm gonna bring them in. I'll let you see the end result. All right. We've uh, thought about the noise. Uh, brought it in from the grill. It's still raw. I did it at 185 for like four hours. Uh, it was getting dark, so I come in. Uh, I may stick it back out. Man, it looks like it's got good smoke on it, so uh, it's where I want it to be as far as ready for me to to add to beans or greens or something like that. You know, depending on what I'm cooking. But uh, if you like what I've done with this, give me a thumbs up. Tell a friend about me. Leave me a comment. Subscribe if you haven't. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.